Kitty Carlisle Hart was an American actress, singer, and spokeswoman for the arts. She is best remembered as a regular panelist on the television game show To Tell the Truth. She served 20 years on the New York State Council on the Arts. In 1991, she received the National Medal of Arts from President George H. W. Bush. She was inducted into the American Theatre Hall of Fame in 1999. Early life Kitty Carlisle was born as Catherine Kahn in New Orleans, Louisiana of German-Jewish heritage. Her grandfather, Ben Holzman, was the mayor of Shreveport, Louisiana, and a Confederate veteran of the American Civil War. He had been a gunner on the CSS Virginia, the Confederate ironclad warship that fought the USS Monitor at the Battle of Hampton Roads. Her father, Joseph Kahn, M.D., was a gynecologist who died when she was 10 years old. Her mother, Hortense Holzman Kahn, was eager for her daughter to be accepted by local society. A taxi driver once asked if her daughter was Jewish, and she answered, she may be, but I'm not. Carlyle's mother took her to Europe in 1921, where she hoped Kitty would marry European royalty, believing that nobility were more likely to marry a Jewish girl. The two traveled around Europe and often lived in what Carlyle recalled as the worst room of the best hotel. Kitty was educated at the Château Montchoisy in Lausanne, Switzerland, then at the Sorbonne and the London School of Economics. She studied acting in London at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. She studied singing with Estelle Liebeling, the teacher of Beverly Sills, in New York City. Career acting after returning to New York in 1932 with her mother, she appeared, billed as Kitty Carlisle, on Broadway in several operettas and musical comedies, and in the American premiere of Benjamin Britten's The Rape of Lucretia. She also sang the title role in George Bizet's Carmen in Salt Lake City. She privately studied voice with Juilliard teacher Anna E. Schoen René, who had been a student of Pauline Vierdo Garcia and Manuel Garcia. Carlyle's early movies included Murder at the Vanities, A Night at the Opera with the Marx Brothers, and two films with Bing Crosby, She Loves Me Not and Here Is My Heart. Carlyle resumed her film career later in life, appearing in Woody Allen's Radio Days and in Six Degrees of Separation, as well as on stage in a revival of On Your Toes, replacing Dina Merrill. Her last movie appearance was in Catch Me If You Can in which she played herself in a dramatization of a 1970s To Tell the Truth episode. For her contributions to the film industry, Carlyle was inducted into the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1960 with a motion picture star located at 6611 Hollywood Boulevard. Television in the early 1950s, Carlyle was an occasional panelist on the NBC game show, who said that, in which celebrities tried to determine the speaker of quotations taken from recent news reports. Carlyle became a household name through To Tell the Truth, where she was a regular panelist from 1956 to 1978 and later appeared on revivals of the series in 1980, 1990-91 and one episode in 2000. She was also a semi-regular panelist on Password, Match Game, Missing Links, and What's My Line. Opera on December 31, 1966, Carlyle made her debut with the Metropolitan Opera, as Prince Orlovska in Strauss's Die Fledermaus. She sang the role ten more times that season, then returned in 1973 for four more performances. Her final performance with the company was on July 7, 1973. She reprised this role during the Beverly Sills Farewell Gala in October 1980. Personal life Carlyle dated George Gershwin in 1933, until George went to California. On August 10, 1946, she married playwright and theatrical producer Moss Hart, whom she met at the Bucks County Playhouse in New Hope, Pennsylvania. They had two children. Hart died on December 20, 1961, at their home in Palm Springs, California. She never remarried, although she briefly dated former governor and presidential candidate Thomas E. Dewey after the death of his wife. During the 1980s and 1990s, Carlyle was the partner of diplomatic historian Evo John Lederer, a relationship that lasted 16 years until Lederer's death in 1998. In her later years, she kept company with financier and art collector Roy Neuberger. Carlyle was known for her gracious manner and personal elegance, and she became prominent in New York City social circles as she crusaded for financial support of the arts. She was appointed to various statewide councils, and was chairman of the New York State Council on the Arts from 1976 to 1996. One of the two state theaters housed at the Egg Performing Arts venue in Albany is named the Kitty Carlisle Hart Theater in her honor. She also served on the boards of various New York City cultural institutions and made an appearance at the annual CIBC World Markets Miracle Day, a children's charity event. She was elected a Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1997. She also widely performed her one-woman show in which she told anecdotes about the many great men in American musical theater history whom she had known, notably George Gershwin, Irving Berlin, Kurt Weill, Oscar Hammerstein, Alan J. Lerner, and Frederick Lowe, interspersed with a few of the songs that made each of them famous. Historic preservation Carlisle Hart was a longtime champion of historic preservation in New York City and state. While chair of the New York State Council on the Arts from 1976 to 1996, Mrs. Hart directed many millions of dollars in support to preservation projects from the Niagara frontier to Staten Island, 
In an effort to keep historic preservation as a core program of the New York State Council on the Arts, the only arts council in America that provides such funding. In 1980, she was crowned Queen of the Beaux Arts Ball, an annual event run by the Beaux Arts Society. In recognition of this legacy, the Historic Districts Council bestowed its Landmarks Lion Award upon her in 2003. Death Carlisle died on April 17, 2007, from congestive heart failure resulting from a prolonged bout of pneumonia. She had been in and out of the hospital since she contracted pneumonia sometime prior to November 2006. She died in her Upper East Side, Manhattan apartment, with her son, Christopher Hart, at her bedside. She was interred in a crypt next to her husband, Moss Hart, at Ferncliff Cemetery in Hartsdale, New York.